I started, I couldn't breathe. Actors get a bad rap for being considered divas over saying no. But when the simplest of shots can affect your career or image, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We're taking a look at 20 times actors refused to film a scene. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. Number one, you can't just have a nude scene for the sake of having a nude scene. If you can tell the same story with your clothes on, then that's the way it should be done. Minka Kelly in Euphoria refused to shoot a nude scene on her very first day on set. Sam Levinson had planned for Kelly's character to be nude in a moment where Alexa Demi unzips her dress. Kelly said, I'd love to do this scene, but I think we can keep my dress on. Sam didn't hesitate to accommodate the request, and Kelly said that he shot a beautiful scene and got exactly what he wanted. Number two. It's a love story, baby. Just say no to intimacy. The reunion scene between Henry Cavill's Geralt and Anya Shalotra's Yennefer in season two of The Witcher was intended to be a lot steamier until Cavill had his say. He admitted, we wanted it to be emotional rather than sexual. It was really, really important, and we had to lean away from what was originally on the page. The result of this choice brought Siri into the equation more, giving the three characters a chance to bond. Number three, if actors can still have their clothes on after intimate scenes, there are very few excuses for nudity on TV. Sydney Sweeney never took a second thought to challenge the shirtless scenes Sam Levinson would write into the script. If she found it unnecessary, she'd say something, and Sam would immediately accept it. It seems to be a general rule that nudity is okay with the cast, but only if it serves a purpose. Sweeney had said of the situation, I've never felt like Sam has pushed it on me or was trying to get a nude scene into an HBO show. When I didn't want to do it, he didn't make me. Number four, don't give a mouse a cookie and don't give Julia Garner a mouse. Garner, who plays Ruth Langmore in Ozark, is petrified of mice. No matter how hard she tried, she just couldn't touch one, not even a fake mouse. The crew ended up needing to bring in a hand model for one shot because there was no way she was touching one. Even thinking about it just makes me cringe. <laughs> she admitted to not being able to breathe because of it. And people kept sending her pictures of mice for a month after that. Cruel and unusual punishment. Number five, we're team cat on this one. While most of the Euphoria cast are quick to praise Sam Levinson's behavior and attitude, Barbie Ferreira may be of another mindset after getting into an argument with Levinson over the direction her character was taking in season two. She supposedly walked off set, which prompted cuts to the script. She's noticeably in far less of the show in this season, and she also didn't attend the premiere, which fueled the rumors. Number six. For the sake of the show, let's hope this relationship is repairable. Allegedly, season two of Euphoria needed to be rewritten because Hunter Shaver and Jacob Elordi refused to act together. This is a huge shift from where they were at in season one. The two have since unfollowed each other on social media and wiped any pre-existing photos of the two together. They were pretty much inseparable during the filming of season one, going to events together and showering each other with praise. Here's hoping they can work it out. Number seven, sometimes taking a leap of faith is not the answer. Kirsten Dunst grew up around strong female figures who gave her a great sense of what she is and isn't comfortable with doing, saying, if my intuition's telling me no, 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 then I'm not going to do it. It's truly admirable. She recalled during her time shooting Spider-Man that they kept at her about one stunt where they strung her to the top of the ceiling and had her bungee jump she didn't want to do it, but she tried it once. Nobody had the cameras rolling when she did, and so she stated clearly, well, you should have shot that because I'm never doing it again. You'll have to find another way. Number eight, Rampage ended on a happier note thanks to Dwayne rocking the boat. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is pretty opposed to sad endings in movies because real life can be sad enough. So when they wanted George the Gorilla to sacrifice himself for the sake of mankind, it was almost enough for The Rock to quit the project. Number nine, shawarma makes for good last words. In The Avengers, after Iron Man crashed into the ground at the end of the movie, he was supposed to say, what's next? But Robert Downey Jr. wasn't a huge fan of the line and felt there was a snappier way to end the movie. He managed to convince Joss Whedon to let him try something. And that's how we ended up with the iconic line about shawarma. You ever tried shawarma? That bit was so beloved, Kevin Feige wanted to get the gang back together for a fun end credit scene. And the only time that was possible was the night of the premiere. 
And that's how we wound up with this perfect setup for a joke. A bunch of superheroes walk into a shawarma joint, and the first hero says to the next, can you come up with a punchline? Leave it in the comments. Number 10. Hemsworth was tired of being the muscle. He wanted to make people laugh, too. While RDJ was beloved from the start, Chris Hemsworth shined in the third Thor installation, and that was because he did not want to play the straight man in a Marvel film again. Taika Waititi supported his wishes, and that is why Ragnarok became one of the best movies in the franchise. Number 11. Prince wasn't afraid of purple raining all over the Kardashian parade. Prince had no interest in meeting them. He'd requested to be in an episode of New Girl. It was by far one of the best episodes in the show, and the plot completely revolved around a party he was throwing. He noticed that Khloe Kardashian and Kris Jenner were on the invite list in the script and wasn't too happy about it. He'd stated that the two would never be invited to a Prince party. Imagine being a Kardashian, going about your Kardashian life, and hearing this years later. We almost feel bad. Number 12. There's no shame in not wanting to take a walk of shame. There was a lot of uproar about Lena Headey not being present for her walk of shame nude scene in Game of Thrones. To be fair, she loved the character and was more than willing, but she was pregnant at the time and chose not to. We're just picturing diehard fans with little bells chanting, shame. Shame. Number 13. This one could be a great get-rich-quick scheme. It's no secret that Allison Hannigan didn't like kissing her co-star Jason Segel, comparing kissing him to kissing an ashtray. But did you know it went even further than that? She convinced him to pay her 10 bucks for every cigarette he smoked. He owed her 200 bucks after day one, which was enough to get him to quit cold turkey. At least for a bit. He started up again after the stress kicked in, but Allison's repulsion very likely led to far fewer intimate scenes between the two on the show. Number 14. Imagine knowing the real story when Riverdale first came out. You'd be infuriated. The big Riverdale season 3 cliffhanger was never even meant to be a cliffhanger. You know the one where Jughead's hat was burned in the fire? Cole Sprouse wasn't present in the scene because it was just too darn cold for him. He was like, I don't want to do it. So he didn't. Number 15. For a man playing an indestructible character, he sure did hurt himself bad. Ryan Reynolds didn't really do any of his stunts on Deadpool because the guy was injured once upon a time. He learned months after filming Safe House that he'd fractured vertebrae in his neck. That ended his stunt career real quick. Reynolds had said, I remember the doctor sitting in the office. It was about the seventh time I had been there that year. And he writes on a prescription pad, rips off the note, and it reads, stunt man, point taken. No stunt is worth your life. Number 16. Adopting may very well have saved Sandra Bullock's life. She stopped doing stunts after adopting her son in 2010. She didn't want to be reckless with him in mind, questioning, what if I should fall and die on this one? Would it be a smart move? Number 17. Zombies can't be killed with concrete, it's fine. After suffering a serious injury on the set of Santa Clarita Diet, Drew Barrymore refused to do any more stunts of her own. She was supposed to leap onto the back of a man from six feet up, but wound up hitting her head on the concrete floor. She suffered a serious concussion, but luckily that was the worst of it. When it first happened, the show creator feared for the worst. She returned to set a week later, but the effects of the concussion lingered. Number 18. Threesomes don't seem like they lead to good storytelling. Julia Roberts' niece, Emma Roberts, dropped out of Spring Breakers after learning her character would be part of a threesome. The role ended up going to Ashley Benson, and the scene was done by her, James Franco, and Vanessa Hudgens in the end. Number 19. Shakira got Gazelle looking a little less skinny and a little curvier, and that's… solving Hollywood's problem? In Zootopia, Gazelle is a pretty tiny character, so it's hard to imagine that there was a time she was even skinnier. Shakira was adamant Gazelle have some meat on her bones, which resulted in the Gazelle being a bit curvier, but that's still an overstatement. Number 20. Honestly, this one's kind of wholesome, which is why we included it. Kirk Cameron refused to kiss his co-star or even touch her too much in the movie Fireproof. They ended up bringing in his wife to do the intimate scenes with him. It worked out in his favor that his wife looked enough like his co-star that they could pull it off. But that wouldn't work in every situation. Well, that's 20. Your body is your instrument. Why put that instrument through danger and risk losing your career? Or your life? 
Did any of these stories surprise you? Let us know in the comments and thanks for hanging out with us here at The Things.